Welcome to Trump Wire, your trusted source for breaking headlines, global insights, and sharp analysis from around the world. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an update. For decades, two names ruled, the skies, Boeing and Airbus. These titans of aviation have been locked in a fierce rivalry, each pushing the boundaries of technology and design, and together, they've shaped the way the world travels. Their jets have become icons, instantly recognizable in airports from Los Angeles to Dubai, and their influence has touched nearly every corner of the globe. They built the jets that connected our world, forming an unbreakable duopoly. For years, airlines had little choice but to pick between these two giants, whose aircraft carried billions of passengers across continents and oceans. But tonight, that order is being shaken. The skies are no longer as predictable as they once were. And, a new chapter in aviation history is unfolding right now. A new player, Comac, the commercial aircraft corporation of China, is making waves. Once dismissed as an underdog, Comac has rapidly advanced, investing billions in research, engineering, and global partnerships. Major airlines are turning away from Boeing's Dreamliner, placing huge orders for Comac's aircraft. These deals aren't just symbolic, they represent a realignment of trust and ambition in the industry. This isn't just about a few planes, it's a seismic shift in global aviation. The ripple effects will be felt by travelers, airlines and economies worldwide. For the first time, a non-Western company is challenging the giants in the lucrative wide-body jet market. Comac's entry signals a new era of competition, innovation, and uncertainty. These are the planes that fly from New York to Tokyo, London to Sydney. Technological, marvels, and economic powerhouses. They're the backbone of international business, tourism, and global connection. Choosing a Chinese jet over Boeing is risky, but it's a bold strategic move. Airlines are betting on Comac's promise of lower costs, advanced features, and a fresh alternative to the status quo. The next time you fly internationally, your plane might be made in Shanghai, not Seattle. This shift could redefine what we expect from air travel and who leads the industry. The global balance of power in aviation is being redrawn before our eyes. The old rules no longer apply, and the future is up for grabs. This could change everything, ticket prices, technology, and even political alliances. The choices airlines make today will shape the skies for decades to come. The Comac C929 isn't just an airplane, it's a symbol of a new era in global competition. Its success or failure will echo far beyond the runway. Let's get to the facts and see how this unprecedented shift could reshape the future of flight. Meet the Comac C929, China's first domestically produced wide-body, twin-engine jet. This ambitious aircraft marks a turning point for the nation's aviation industry, representing years of research, development, and national pride. The C929 is more than just a new plane. It's a symbol of China's determination to compete on the world stage. Designed to rival the Boeing 787 and Airbus A350, it carries up to 320 passengers on long-haul routes. With a spacious cabin and modern amenities, the C929 aims to deliver comfort and efficiency for both airlines and travelers, promising a new era of international connectivity for Chinese carriers. This is Beijing's answer to Western dominance, built for intercontinental travel. The C929 is intended to connect China directly to major cities across the globe, reducing reliance on foreign aircraft and strengthening the country's presence in global aviation markets. Comac, founded in 2008, was tasked with breaking the Western aviation duopoly. The company has grown rapidly, assembling a team of engineers and experts to take on the world's most established aerospace giants. After smaller jets, the C929 is their boldest move yet. It's a leap from regional and narrow-body aircraft to a true long-haul contender, signaling Comac's readiness to challenge the status quo. It boasts modern aerodynamics, composite materials, and advanced avionics, mirroring the Dreamliner's innovations. These technologies help reduce weight, improve fuel efficiency, and enhance passenger comfort, making the C929 a cutting-edge competitor. Comac's goal build a plane that's not just capable, but economical and reliable. The company is focused on creating an aircraft that airlines can trust for safety, performance, and cost-effectiveness, hoping to win over both domestic and international customers. The C929 is the flagship of China's Made in China 2025 strategy, aiming for global leadership in high-tech manufacturing. 
It's a showcase of the country's industrial progress, blending advanced robotics, precision engineering and national ambition. Aviation is a strategic industry for China, projecting power and technological prowess. The government's support underscores the importance of the C-929 as a tool for economic growth and international influence. The C-929 is more than a product. It's a declaration that China wants to design and build the world's most complex machines. It's a message to the world that China is ready to innovate, lead, and set new standards in aviation. This is China's bid to stand shoulder to shoulder with the world's aviation giants, challenging decades of Western dominance and opening a new chapter in global air travel. And it's just getting started. The journey of the C-929 is only beginning, with the world watching to see how far China's aviation ambitions will soar. The Boeing 787 Dreamliner was once the gold standard for long-haul travel. Its composite airframe made it lighter, stronger, and more fuel-efficient, a revolution in aviation. Airlines flocked to buy it, making it the backbone of international fleets. For years, the 787 and Airbus A350 split the market. But Boeing's dominance is now under threat. Production issues and safety concerns, especially after the 737 MAX crises, have shaken trust. Delays and uncertainty have made airlines reconsider their options. The Dreamliner is still a strong performer but Boeing's reputation has taken a hit. This is the opening Comac needed. The C929 isn't just another plane, it's emerging as a real alternative. Boeing's once unquestioned dominance is being tested from all sides, the skies are more competitive than ever. The US-China trade war changed everything for Boeing, sending shockwaves through the global aviation industry. For decades, Boeing had relied on China as one of its most important and fastest growing markets, with Chinese airlines accounting for a huge share of its international sales. In 20,000 second ways, Man Shi Da Shin Sai Kun Chuan Quarter 25, China retaliated against US tariffs by halting all Boeing deliveries to Chinese airlines. The move was swift and decisive leaving dozens of jets undelivered and production lines suddenly idle. China, a massive aviation market with hundreds of millions of passengers each year, suddenly froze Boeing out. The impact was immediate and dramatic, as Chinese carriers scrambled to find alternatives. Chinese airlines needing new jets to keep up with surging demand were left with one option, buy Chinese. The government encouraged this shift, pushing airlines to support domestic manufacturers. Comax C929, once seen as a challenger, suddenly became the only game in town for wide-body jets. The company's order book swelled almost overnight. Orders from Air China, China Southern and China Eastern poured in, as these major carriers raced to secure enough aircraft to meet their needs. Ironically, the trade war meant to hurt China's aviation ambitions, instead gave Comac a captive market and a massive boost in credibility. Comac had prepared for this moment, stockpiling parts, ramping up production, and investing in new facilities to meet the sudden surge in demand. The ban on Boeing wasn't a surprise, it was the opportunity Comac had been waiting for, and they seized it with both hands. The C929 went from a long-term project to an urgent necessity, with engineers and workers working around the clock to deliver. Boeing lost its most important foreign market overnight, facing billions in lost revenue and a growing inventory of unsold jets. The trade war handed Comac a golden opportunity, transforming it from an underdog into a global contender almost instantly. In a single stroke, the balance of power in aviation shifted, with Comac rising and Boeing left scrambling to recover from the perfect storm. The story doesn't end with Chinese airlines, interest in Comac is going global. Air Asia, a major Malaysian carrier, is in talks to buy Comac's C919 jet. Ryanair's CEO says he'd consider Comac if the price is right. For many airlines it's about cost and availability not politics. Air Cambodia has already ordered Comac's regional jets. These international deals prove Comac is more than a state project. Each sale chips away at skepticism and builds momentum for the C919 and C929. Why the interest? Price and speed. Comac can offer jets cheaper and faster than Boeing or Airbus, who face years-long backlogs. For airlines eager to expand, waiting a decade for a new plane isn't an option. If Comac can deliver in two or three years, that's a game-changer. The world is starting to take notice.
Here's a twist. The C929 isn't purely Chinese. Despite the trade war, Comac sources critical components from Western suppliers, engines, avionics, landing gear. Many come from the same companies that supply Boeing and Airbus. Why? To build a world-class jet, you need world-class parts. This strategy accelerates development and boosts reliability. It also helps with international certification. Regulators trust familiar components. Even amid political tension, Western firms can't ignore China's market. They're willing to supply Comac, even if it means helping a future rival. The C929 is a global hybrid Chinese ambition powered by Western innovation. It's a testament to the interconnectedness of the modern economy. In aviation, business often trumps politics. Despite momentum, Comac faces huge challenges. First, international certification. Without ESA or FAA approval, the C929 can't fly in Europe or the US. This process is slow, expensive, and critical for global sales. Second, production. Comac's output is tiny compared to Boeing and Airbus. Scaling up without sacrificing quality is a massive hurdle. Third, real-world performance. Airlines will scrutinize fuel efficiency, reliability, and maintenance costs. Any major issues could damage Comac's reputation before it's established. Finally, global support. Boeing and Airbus have vast networks for parts and repairs. Comac lacks this infrastructure, making international airlines cautious. Building a global support network will take years, and billions. Without it, the C929's reach will be limited. The road ahead is long and uncertain. What does this mean for you, the passenger? In the short term, not much changes, but in 5 to 10 years, you could see lower ticket prices. More competition means airlines can buy planes for less and pass savings to you. Low-cost carriers could expand routes and offer cheaper fares. The C929 could open up new direct flights, bypassing major hubs. More planes from more manufacturers means more travel options. Soon, you might fly on a Comac jet. Its cabin will feel familiar, thanks to shared suppliers. The biggest difference? The name on the side of the plane. A new era in air travel is taking off. The skies are changing. We're witnessing the dawn of a new world order in aviation. The Boeing Airbus duopoly is no longer unchallenged. Comac's rise signals a shift in global manufacturing and technological power. China is moving from factory to innovator. For Boeing and Airbus, this is an existential challenge. They must innovate, cut costs, and fight for every order. The pressure will make the industry stronger, but also more competitive. This shift has geopolitical consequences. Airplanes are tools of national influence, forging long-term relationships. Comac's success gives China new leverage worldwide. The battle for the skies is about technology, economics, and global power. The Comac C929 is a turning point. The rules of aviation have changed forever.